In this video, I'm going to be taking you through two different workouts that's going to improve your strength and your cardio levels. You can literally do it in your bedroom. All you're going to need is your body weight, a small amount of space, and you're good to go. Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Kane. I am the Sports Performance Director and Head Trainer here at Boxing Bay in Los Angeles. Welcome to my channel. So let's get to work. I'm going to be taking you through two different workouts that's going to improve your strength and your cardio levels. All you're going to need is your body weight and a small amount of space, that is it. But before we get into it, I'm just going to go over the rep ranges and sets of the workout. So, workout number one, we're going to have four different exercises, all body weight. Rep range is going to go between 10 and 20. So, obviously, if you're more, more of a beginner, you're going to go for 10 reps, more advanced 15 to 20 reps. You can choose, okay? Once you've completed uh, one set, we rest for 30 seconds. So, we go exercise one, two, three, four, rest, and then we repeat it two more sets. All right? So, exercise number one. We're going to go into an explosive jump squat. So feet shoulder width, driving the arms back, weight onto the heels, explode up, driving the toes into the ground. We're dipping our hips below the knees and then we drive up. We're keeping our core braced all the way through, be nice and athletic. That's low body. Now we're going to go down into the floor. We're going to go into explosive push-ups. Um, so with this one, You've got two options, guys. You can either drop to your knees, as we're here, right? So I'm just going to take you through the form real quick. Feet about shoulder width, hands under your shoulders and the chest. Inhale on the way down, drive the elbows back. Full body tension. If that's a, bit, uh, a, bit, a little bit too difficult for you, you can drop to the knees. Same form though, same coaching cues apply. Core is braced, hands under the shoulders and the chest. Drive the elbows behind the shoulders. Nice neutral spine. Ten to twenty reps. Then we're going to go into legs again. Okay, so you've got two options: reverse lunges or explosive jumping lunges. So reverse lunges. So stepping back. Opposite arm, opposite leg, chest is proud, shoulders are back. Lovely, look at that. Right, so make sure the legs are 90 degrees. Our foot is nice and stable into the ground. We're adding weight to the front leg there, so we want to have a slight tilt forward, but not too excessive, okay? Now if you want to make that a bit more advanced, we can add a, a jump in there, make it more explosive. 20 reps, okay? 10 to 20. Then we're going to drop to the floor for the last exercise, core exercise. You're going to go into a low plank. So palms want to be nice and flat. You see a lot of people stacking the hands together when they do planks. Stop doing that. That is taking the tension away from the actual exercise, okay? You want the hands nice and flat against the ground. Shoulders back and down, locking the lats, locking the core. Abs tight, glutes tight. And then from there, put toe tapping at the back. I'm not here. I'm not adding pressure to my spine. I'm not sinking the hips. I'm not arching the lower back. I'm keeping a nice neutral spine from my neck down to my tailbone. Full body, full body tension, full body stiffness. 10 to 20 reps. And then you have your rest, okay? Have your rest 30 seconds. And then repeat that for two more sets. So workout number two, we're going to be going from the same rep ranges, 10 to 20. We've got four different exercises again. 30 seconds rest at the end of each set, and then we go again, all right? So the first exercise, you've got two options. We're gonna work the legs first, okay? So we're gonna go into a split stance position, all right? Front foot, make sure we're squeezing our toes into the ground, create stability, that's gonna help with your balance, and then we're gonna drive down into that split squat. Legs should be both at like a 90 degree angle. As we go down, bracing the core, shoulders back, chest is up, but we're also stacking that front leg slightly as we go down. So we're sort of leaning forwards onto that front leg. Put your hands on your hips. You want to help with their technique and balance. Arms out in front, okay? Don't want this. All right, this is really, gonna, really good. As it's unilateral, we're working single legs. So we're going to work on eddy and, eddy and balances, hitting the quads, hitting the hammies, hitting the glutes, also getting some nice core activation at the same time. All right? So that, that's, uh, that's your first exercise. With this one, you're gonna be going for about 10, eight, 10 reps per side, and then we go on to the next one. All right, so the next one is gonna be a push-up into a T. So it's a push-up into a rotation. So now we're hitting our chest, shoulders, triceps, 
and we're getting a lot more core engagement as well now on the rotation. All right, so it's here. I'm going to take you through two different uh, movements how you can do it. So regular, hands under your shoulders again, feet shoulder width, drive the elbows back, inhale. As we come up, rotate back down. If you want to break it down on the push-up, we go down into the push-up, stack our feet, rotate, come back down. Now this one, we're going to go for about 10 to 20 reps. And then we're going to go on to number three. Right, so this is a great exercise for you working your posterior chain. Single leg deadlifts, okay? So we'll be hitting our hammies, glutes, and lower back. All right, so balance as well. So I'm going to work my, foot, my left leg first. I'm going to slowly lower. I'm going to hinge the hips. So I want to stick my hip back towards the wall. And with this one, we don't want to be squatting or dropping our knees below, uh, our hips below the knees. We want to keep the hips nice and high. All right, so we're going to be here. We're going to reach out in front and then drive your hips forward, get that hip extension, squeeze your glutes, keep your core nice and tight. At the same time, I'm squeezing that front foot into the ground. Inhale, exhale. You should get a nice stretch on the hamstrings and the glutes. And with that one, eight to 10 reps per side. So it's really important that we're hitting our posterior chain. A lot of, a lot of times in, in training programs, your posterior chain gets neglected. Yeah, so it's really important that we hit the front, but also the back muscles as well, work on our imbalances, all right? And before I get into the last exercise of the workout, which is my favorite, please hit the subscribe and the like button. Any questions, just drop them below. Okay, so the last exercise is gonna be a core exercise, mountain climbs. I'm sure you guys have done this before. I'm just going to take you through the technique, okay? So we're going to be in a high plank position. So what does a high plank position mean? Basically a push-up position. Hands directly under the shoulders and the chest. We're bracing our core. Drive the shoulders back, lock the lats in, and then we explode. Light on the feet, chin tucked in. We're not excessively uh, putting any stress on the spine, but keeping our chin tucked in. So a nice straight line from our neck down to our tailbone, okay? Take you through a couple of reps. <laughs> And that's it. We're going to go for about 10, 20 reps on this one, so 10 per leg. Nice and explosive. So don't forget, within the circuits, within these workouts, we go back to back. We go one, two, three, four, rest for 30 seconds, and then we repeat that sequence for two more sets. So three sets in total, two different workouts that's going to help definitely improve your strength, your stability, your core, and your cardio levels. And all you're going to need is your body weight and a small amount of space. If you like this video, Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.